Tour alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the Metro Manila Arena. We're here in the Philippines for our main event of the evening. Ten rounds, light heavyweights. We are looking forward to this fight, especially after seeing what happened at the weigh-in yesterday. A stare down that nearly resulted in a bout breaking out right there. Now they get to do it for real. Remember, guys, obey my commands at all times. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. I want to see some action. Opening round there. scheduled for 10. <laughs> he needs to improve the accuracy a little bit. That was comical by the hitman. from that uppercut by Burton. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. <laughs> Able to get rid of that one. him holding on. Bazooka's got something to think about now. He just threw a punch and had one coming right back at him. His opponent scored well with the counter. Halfway through round number one. Really wanted that uppercut, but just couldn't get it. Do that again! He's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. He takes a shot and then commits to giving one right back. Well timed by the hitman. He took a step back, landed the counterpunch. Exactly what he wanted to do. up top with a left. <laughs> Ten seconds remaining in this round. This round comes to an end. And Teddy, easy to note here that he wasn't landing a lot of punches. Now he was throwing them up, but he wasn't landing a lot. Is that because of his opponent's defense, or is he just not that accurate of a puncher? No, it's a combination. First of all, his opponent is pretty slick in there, pretty good at bobbing, weaving a little bit, slipping a little bit, making himself a difficult target. But his punch is a little wide. He needs to shorten them up. Good job. Deep breath. You're in control of this fight, but don't get careless out there. Here we go, round two is underway. Keep working, keep working.
flush with the two punch combo by the hitman. Keeping his hands up, getting rid of his opponent's offense. Nice block by Bazooka, and just grabbing on to his opponent. Halfway through this round here. I shake it off. Precision work with the left hand by Bazooka. We're seeing a lot of work to the body here early on by him. Teddy, is that a certain mentality, these guys that commit to being a body puncher? Yeah, because they understand that the body puncher <laughs> You know, that's not something that's glorious. That's not something that, you know, like a great left hook on the chin, bang, it gets results right away. They understand that that's something that pays off later and something you got to start early and stay with. Well, you could see what he wanted to do there, but unable to land that body shot. Right to the head with that right. Right hand downstairs. And now he scores well with a straight right. You know, we're early in this fight, but Bazooka's energy may come into question soon. He's throwing a lot of punches, Teddy. And his mental energy, too. I'm wondering if he's getting a little discouraged that his opponent is not showing a lot of effect from all those shots. Just 10 seconds to go in this round. Burton's on the bad end of a very impressive hook up top. This round comes to an end. A round in which this fighter threw a lot of punches, didn't land a lot of punches. I'll tell you, what advice can you give to him if you're the trainer? Well, first of all, deal with the psychological part. Joe, don't forget, 75% of this game is psychological. Don't let him get discouraged because even though he's not going to say nothing, in his head he's starting to get discouraged. Just say to him, hey, listen, you're going to catch him. Let's shorten him up a little bit. And you know what? He's moving his head, so go to the body because now you're going to hit him a little in the body because the body's not moving. And round number three is underway. <laughs> Nowhere close that punch by the hitman. Not precise at all by Bazooka. Able to block that away, it was targeted for his head. Little head hunting with the left. Sound defense, good block that time by Bazooka. Teddy, he did a smart thing right there. Just created enough space and then landed the counter punch. Looked like the will of the wish. The old great Willie Pep. Made him miss, made him pay. Watch that! Pace yourself! Unable to land clean by Burton. Punch, 90 punch, seconds to go jump here in this jump round. Right now. left hand that landed by Bazooka. Bazooka's doing exactly what you should to be a strong defensive fighter. You gotta block those punches away. Thought he had his target, but way off to the side with the uppercut. Left and right, left and right. He 
he just missed that shot up top. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. Bazooka's movement helped out there. He avoided that punch. We count down the final moments of this round. Let's go. What are you waiting for? You want this fight? There you go. Then let's get moving out there. This guy's gonna win this fight. If you don't take control, son, you need to take control. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep that jab pumping, then throw the lead right you hand. Know. You're winning this fight hands down, baby. Relax. Now you got to relax, all right? You're doing great, but just keep the pressure on you. The quick takeaway from the first three rounds is that one guy's got the higher punch output, the other one's lagging behind. As we start round number four, Teddy's scorecard, three rounds to none. Yeah, the one guy with the high punch rate, the reason he's winning and the reason why he's effective is he's in the geography of the ring he needs to be in tight. Teddy, what would you recommend based on what we're seeing here tonight? Well, two Aspen and then, go, oh no, actually I would say a little counter punching would be just what the doctor ordered. That's a better prescription for him. control and now maybe out of control after getting hit there but what you just said joe that is really what's the enemy of his right Hold on, great man. round now back and Lynch, forth after he did the hurting the he's the one hurt joe simply put this is about wit grit and spit this is about fighting go, go, go. work the body move your head He had his eyes set on the uppercut, but was unable to land it. Ninety seconds to go in round number four. That's it. That's it. Uh. His opponent wanted the body, he wouldn't give it to him. The hitman's making this like artwork here. I mean, his defense is just a masterpiece. Well, that's the way it's supposed to be, actually, you know, the, the sweet moving. science. It's not supposed to be about going in there and eating punches. It's supposed to be about going in there avoiding punches. You know, finding a way to hit your opponent without him hitting you. He understands that. That's a stinging right hand by Burton. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Relax, relax. Last 10 seconds. Side to side. Now these two corners have to do their job after both men went out and gave everything they had. Both fighters get tagged and hurt by the other. Yeah, well, what you have to do now in the corner, Joe, what you're alluding to is you have to revitalize the fighter. Put some cold water on his head, on his neck, you know, get him ready for the next round and give him some good advice. Tell him how to way, get away from some of those shots. Keep your hands up. Don't worry, all right? I just need you to focus. Keep your hands up. Keep working the jab, okay? Double up the jab and just keep moving. You okay? Good. I need you to use your feet, all right? Move around the ring more. 
Well, he got caught by a lucky punch in that last round. It did do some damage, but now you can tell he's right back where he wants to be, fresh and ready as we start this round. I don't take lightly when a guy gets dropped, but you know what? I think he was more embarrassed than he was hurt. Ties up on the inside. And here he goes again with the clinching. Bazooka's defense is now serving him well. Nice job blocking that punch. You're not focusing. Uh. Burton's clearly committed to the strategy of footwork, of movement, of staying away and staying out of trouble. Yeah, he's got plenty of air in those tires, and he's making sure that he's using them. He's spinning them around that ring. He just has to make sure that he doesn't get predictable where he's going straight back. He goes straight back, you can always time him. He clinches when he gets to the inside. A good counterpunch by the hitman. Unable to connect by Burton. Focus! Ten seconds to go in this round. Burton's got a way of just getting away from that punch. This round comes to an end, and you can just see that he doesn't have much to him, not much energy there. I mean, how does a trainer fix that? Well, first of all, you said a key word there. You said you can just see. Well, his opponent can see it, so he's not going to slow down. His opponent now is going to come out Keep even faster. So if you're the trainer, the first thing you say is, hey, take a deep breath, get yourself together. Don't let this guy know you're tired. You're not tired. That was good. That was real good. You took a lot out of the start of the sixth round. The Hitman's Corner has to be pleased with everything they've seen so far tonight. Consensus ringside is that this is a one-sided fight, that he's in complete control on the scorecards. Yeah, well, he's having his way, and it's not going to change unless... He gets a little cocky here. If he starts looking for maybe one shot instead of putting them together the way he's doing, maybe it allows his opponent to have a little bit of hope, a little ray of hope, get Keep back moving. in this fight. Keep moving. Oh, what a whiff by the hitman. Unload. Unload. More punches. Hey, you got some of that too. Let's go. Good job, buddy. Able to dismiss it. Burton's punch is far off the target. The hitman's showing us a great 
display of one of the best elements of defense, Teddy, and that is your ability to make your man miss by moving your head. And now what his opponent has to do is he has to understand, hopefully he's been taught this, that yeah, the head moves, but the body doesn't. The body is stationary right in front of you. Right now his opponent should not be going to that head. He should be going downstairs. Tried the hook, didn't get it. Pace yourself. <laughs> What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Burton. Engages in the clinch. Working our way towards the bell. Last 10 seconds of the sixth. So he puts forth another punishing display. Burton's dominating this fight from start to finish, and the end is getting near. Yeah, and his opponent's looking like he's got Everlast written on his forehead. I mean, he looks like a bag. You gotta stay on your ground. You gotta take it to him with some big shots. Without going over the top, right? I keep telling you to take it to the body first. Even a left hook. Right up with cock would work. They are back to action here, but that action has only favored one man. Completely one-sided. Hard to see the scorecards coming into play here with how dominating he's been. Really frustrating his opponent now. The hitman's so defensively sound, it doesn't make for an easy target. No, it doesn't, and it makes for a very frustrating night for his opponent. I see his opponent now, if you notice, he's getting a little tentative. He's afraid to let the punches go because when he left misses, right, he's worried he's right. gonna leave an opening. Halfway through the seventh round. in the ring right now, just wobbling away.
coming towards the end of the seventh round. Ten seconds to go. <laughs> Off the target by Bazooka. <laughs> All right. Deep breath now. Deep breath. Relax. Relax. Are you all right? Now I need you to keep your hands up. You keep your hands up. Don't worry now, all right? I just I need you to focus. This is yours, you hear me? This is your fight. Keep it up. Keep scoring points like that. And You know, Teddy, there's been a lot of good that we've seen from him tonight. We start round number eight here, and he's ahead on the scorecards, but a lot of wasted energy as well. Yeah, a little excited early on. Throwing punches that really there was no reason to throw. Wasted punches, wasted energy. Bazooka's offense has completely gone away here, it seems. He was hurt earlier, and now all he's doing is worried about what could be coming to get him again. Yeah, he was on the highway earlier going about 90, and now all of a sudden he's taking those back roads going about 20. How long until the police catch up to him or his opponent pulls him over? Uppercut! It's all right, just keep moving. The halfway point of round number eight. Punch! Punch! Keep pushing! Change. Good way to protect the midsection. Come on, kid, focus. Left and right, left and right. Bazooka's been able to Pace let yourself. loose. He's throwing punches. He's just not landing enough of them. Well, he's throwing them from a little too far away. He's not getting into that punching chamber. He's starting to launch him just a little too soon, and his opponent is warm. Last 10 seconds of the eighth round. And round eight comes to an end. The hitman's in position right now to really bring home a good victory. He's up on the punch stats. He's up on your scorecard. This is his fight. Yeah, we just hope that the judges, and you never know that. That's one thing that sometimes can really disappoint you in this business. You hope the judges see it that way because I can't see it any other way. You're losing this fight. I need you to take some chances now. You have to take a chance with this guy, all right? The action starts up again, but it's only favored one man. Hard to see this fight going the distance based on what we've witnessed so far. Come on, baby. Hook. Hook. 
accuracy an issue there. Didn't land that straight right hand. Focus! Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. Keep moving. Keep moving. And a sharp hey, counter hey, punch by the hitman. <laughs> Unload. Unload. More punches. Watch the hook. Watch the hook. Come on. seconds into the ninth round. <laughs> nice block by Bazooka. Uppercut! <laughs> Able to dismiss that body shot. Defensive skill with the block by Burton. Final chance, last ten seconds of round nine. That's okay, that's okay. Let it go, let it go. Suck it up. There is no tomorrow. You can do this, okay? Hey, listen to me. When he misses with a punch, count him. Okay, we got this one. Last round, and it's yours, okay? Just keep your distance and keep your hands up. You got that? Okay, good. Now take a deep breath. You gotta watch the water in the corner. He's almost done. You had him in that round. You in control. Now this is it. Tenth and final round. Oh, good defense there. That was a fine block by the hitman. Pace yourself. Not much action as he just ties up. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the hedge. Punch. Punch. Burton's missing the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere to be found. Come on, man. Get out of there. Get out of there. Bazooka's defense is paying off now. to get away from those punches. Yeah, good work. <laughs> Halfway through this 10th and final round. Blocks that punch. All right, here we go. Last 60 seconds of the fight. Left and right, left and right. 
Pace yourself! Power shot lands, and all of a sudden it turns the tables. A little slow with that jab, and he got caught the right hand. Final bell of what was a one-sided outing. Well, this one is easy to score. At least it should be. Let's hear how the judges had it. We send it up to the ring. Burton's performance tonight was exactly what he was looking for. And it's exactly what the judges reward. Good, solid effort, a unanimous decision. Yeah, if he was a pitcher, he'd be getting a shutout right now. Almost a perfect game. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us ringside.